technology. It drives us and motivates us to make life-changing innovations to make the world a better place. Encouraging this innovation is the Samsung Solve for Tomorrow contest, which asks its hopeful contenders to solve problems in the community using science, technology, engineering, and math skills, or STEM. Garden City High School math teacher and robotics sponsor Yuri Drabinsky's project proposal made him the Kansas State winner. So every proposal was different, and um, my proposal involved looking at um, issues related to water and the Oglala Aquifer and how we use water in um, western Kansas and thinking about can we use technology to make it more effective. With the emphasis on agriculture in western Kansas, water conservation is definitely a huge topic of concern and for Jabrinsky and GCHS a topic of victory. This contest does not just offer bragging rights to the winner. Jabinski explains the fruits of his efforts. For being a state winner, uh, the school receives $25,000 worth of technology from Samsung, which is a, we're not really sure what they're going to offer us, but that's still pretty big and they make some really good things, so we're excited about that. This victorious innovator is not alone in his enthusiasm for the completion of the project. Drabinsky gives us insight to his partners in conservation. Right now, for this phase of the competition, we're, I'm working with my engineering class in order to um, put this project together. Um, so we're, we broke out into three groups and every group has their own interpretation of the project using some of the equipment that we have. And then we're also working on this after school. Um, we got a couple of high school kids, a couple of students from the class, but we also have a couple of students that come over from both middle schools um, that are working on this project as well. So it's really neat seeing um, just different grade levels interacting and making this work. More than just his helpers, Drabinsky and his students have set their sights on involving the community in their Ogallala rescue. We decided it would be pretty neat if the students would create a kit that we can hand out to the community that involved that those sensors and those microcontrollers and information about how to implement all of that. Competition aside, this interactive project has greatly benefited the students of the high school and the Garden City community as a whole. Being able to take a real-world problem Think about solutions to that problem and having students, giving students the opportunity to execute that. Um, that, you know, you'd think this is a project that college students are doing or somebody that's actually in the business is doing, working with water. But um, this is just a really unique opportunity being able to do this with high school students and then working with community members to really understand the process and um, for them to have us help, uh, help us along the way. The next step for Drabinsky and his H2O saving pioneers is the national level of the competition. Representing Kansas, Drabinsky's proposal will go up against 50 other state winners, including the District of Columbia. Ten finalists, whose winnings could jump to $150,000, will be selected and get the opportunity to travel to New York and present their projects to judges and experts. From there, Samsung will select three national winners. Who knows? The technology of tomorrow could be developing in the halls of GCHS today. For BBS TV, I'm Madison Farr.